Hello guys, today we are going to discuss briefly about spirometry, the different line volumes and their values. Okay, let's start. This is a graph showing different line volumes. Okay. We have different line volumes. It includes tidal volume, TV, IRV, inspiratory reserve volume, ERV, expiratory reserve volume and vital capacity they are the sum of all of this that is vital capacity we see first of all we have to know what is tidal volume tidal volume see just normal breathing or normal breathing that is normal inspiration or normal expiration that what that what i am doing now normal normally what i am inspiring and normally what i am expiring the value will be 500 ml or 0 0.5 liter so tidal volume just memorize this that is 500 ml okay next volume is IRV that is inspiratory reserve volume more than normal inspiration what we can breathe in that is forced inspiration it is like it is known as inspiratory reserve volume how much we can forcefully inspire so the value for IRV is two thousand eight hundred ml to three thousand ml. We are finding its value using spirometry. So for multiple choice questions and for other competitive exam, they will ask different different values and they will we have to match the values. Okay. So just remember, inspiratory reserve volume will be equal to 2800 ml to 3000 ml or 2.2 liter to 3 liter. And ERV, that is expiratory reserve volume, just opposite. How much we can forcefully breathe out or how much we can expire out? The value is 1100 ml to 1300 ml. See a thing here. See, you can see inspiratory reserve volume is 2800 to 3000, which is much more than expiratory reserve volume. So, atmospheric pressure outside is very high. So, due to this variation, we can inspire more. Okay, the pressure outside is very much more than inside lungs, but we can't that much expire out. So, ERV is 1100 ml to 1300 ml. Always remember. IRV is more, much more greater than ERV. Okay, then next one is vital capacity. Vital capacity is the sum of TV plus IRV plus ERV. Vital capacity is sum of TV plus IRV plus ERV. Just calculate that is 0 0.5 ml plus IRV 3 ml plus 1.3 ml it will be equal to around 4.7 liter right it will be equal to 3.5 to 4.8 liter just calculate so you need to know only these stuffs TV, IRV and ERV so vital capacity will be the sum of TV plus IRV plus ERV so if you remember this no need to memorize just add Okay, so let's move. We have other some values. Let's know what is inspiratory capacity. What is this? Inspiratory capacity. Inspir the capacity is always, it will be always a sum. So we already have inspiratory reserve volume. Inspiratory reserve volume. Inspiratory reserve volume plus that 
normally what we inspire in that is TV. So inspiratory capacity is always a sum of IRV plus TV that is 0.5 liter 0.5 liter TV plus IRV that is around 3 liter so it will be around 3.5 liter same same manner we will have expiratory capacity so what is expiratory capacity it will be ERV expiratory capacity will be equal to ERV plus TV so ERV will have 1.3 liter so it will be around 1.8 liter so if we just memorize these values we can find other values easily okay so we found inspiratory capacity expiratory capacity and there is one important other volume it is known as residual volume among all this volume, this is an important volume. The importance of this volume is that we can't find the residual volume using spirometry. We, we will not be able to find. Okay. So this residual volume is a volume which cannot be expired or which cannot be removed from lungs. So if you have to remove the residual volume from lungs, we have to kill ourselves or we have to remove our lungs from our body. It cannot be removed normally. So, residual volume, so we have to remember this value, it is equal to 1.2 liter or 1200 ml, which cannot be removed. So, just memorize residual volume. Many, many multiple choice questions, they usually asked about residual volume. They will give a question like this, which of the following volume cannot be find out using spirometry. So, they will give you the option TV, IRV, ERV, residual volume. So, always the answer will be residual volume, which cannot be removed. So it will be always present. If you are living, living, or if you are, if you have lungs inside our body, the residual volume must be there. That is 1.2 liter. Okay. So there is one more volume, which is known as not volume, functional residual capacity. I told you capacity is always will be some. So what is functional residual capacity? After normal expiration, how much how much volume of air is left inside lungs? It will be equal to, as I told you, this residual volume will be always present. So this RV plus what we have expired forcefully. What we have expired forcefully, that is equal to ERV. So RV plus ERV gives you functional residual capacity. After normal expiration, how much volume? It's remain in our lungs that is RV plus it is equal to 1.2 plus ERV is around 1.3 is equal to 2.5 liter so if we just memorize these values we can come to all other volumes okay then the last volume is total lung capacity we have to sum up everything that is total lung capacity it is equal to this TV plus IRV plus ERV then the residual volume if we sum up everything we will get total that is TV equal to 0.5 liter IRV equal to 3 liter ERV is 1.3 liter and RV is 1.2 liter so it will be around 5.9 liter or approximately 6 liter right 1.3 2.5 5.5 it will be around 6 liter okay so total line capacity is 6, 6 liter so no need to buy that anything so we found understand TV, IRV, ERV and the vital capacity then sum up that is inspiratory capacity we did that is TV plus IRV expiratory capacity is TV plus ERV and functional residual capacity is 
residual volume residual volume plus ERV just remember this value and sum up and never forget residual volume okay never forget residual volume we used to tell our lover our love that we will buy everything for you from this world but never tell I will give you my residual volume it means you are killing yourself so just remember you can't give residual volume to anyone okay so residual volume just remember the value that is 1.2 liter which cannot be found out using spirometry we have two other techniques to find out spirometry so to find residual volume we have two methods in this modern world that is nitrogen washout method and second one is helium dilution method just memorize this you will get question in many MCQs okay what is the method used for finding residual volume and don't forget spirometry cannot find residual volume so there is always questions coming which of the following volume cannot be found out with spirometry that is residual volume which cannot be removed from our lines okay that's all so let's make a review so what we have learned we learned different volumes of lens and capacities simple topic just to memorize see let's make it other graph just to compare Just imagine this is a lens. So, so this will be a residual volume that I told. The volume which cannot be removed, that is inside lens, which cannot be found out using spirometry. The value is 1.2 liter or 1200 ml. Okay. Then we have. So let's see here each volume. So it will be tidal volume. So what is tidal volume? The normal inspiring or normal expiring volume that is 500 ml or 0 0.5 liter. So it will be tidal volume. Then we have inspiratory reserve volume that is IRV. So after tidal volume or if you are forcefully inspiring some air that is known as inspiratory reserve volume. So what is the volume? 2800 to 3000 ml or 2.8 to 3 liter okay just memorize that one and we have ERV that is expiratory reserve volume so that is forceful expiration after normal expiring how much we can forcefully expire the volume is 1100 to 1300 ml remember expiratory reserve volume is always less than inspiratory reserve volume so then we have vital capacity. Vital capacity is the sum of this normal breathing that is TV plus IRB plus ERB. So from this we can find all other capacity, inspiratory capacity, expiratory capacity, functional residual capacity, everything. I think you all are clear. So please watch my videos and subscribe. I am uploading more videos. Thank you for watching and support me.